Good morning, everyone. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler, and welcome to your weekday daily card reading, where we dive into the cards, see what's in store with a message from Spirit. Okay, I'm going to finish this week off with the Wisdom of Oracle by Colette Baron reed Let's see, what is the energy for today? Okay, so there's still this emphasis of freedom. There's a lot of... Um, joy frequency, also this sense of relief. I wanna say there's a sense of relief. And maybe that's because tomorrow is the final eclipse, the lunar eclipse that we have. So maybe there's that. Because eclipse seasons can have a lot of intensity. So maybe there's a relief that that energy is over. But I also feel this release, or this relief is the universe having this sigh of relief after they've brought in a lot of things in our highest good for our awareness and all of that like now we have all the pieces what are we gonna do with it that kind of feeling so let's see what the energy is hmm okay one more shuffle here just for good measure okay hold on let's see what do we got here okay Ooh, yes okay Interesting. Okay, so with this feeling of relief, this feeling of freedom, the universe is asking us again to consider perspectives. The reason why is um, many of you over this eclipse season have had the opportunity to rebuild certain things, and that's with this building blocks card. Many of you, and even leading up to the eclipse season, this has been a time where you have been shown things that are coming to the surface, triggers, but also successes for you to recognize what they are, choose what you wanna do about it, then surrender and see what the universe brings in. Like what kind of building blocks are they offering? What are they knocking over for you to start again? Because maybe the foundation you're trying to build it on is not the right one yet. It's not sturdy enough for how high you're gonna go. So the universe has been helping to set up these building blocks. With that, Spirit is saying, take time to observe. This is the observer card. Observe what has transpired for you in the last two weeks-ish with the eclipse season. What have you experienced? What have you learned? What are you still questioning? Like observe it and observe those around you. Observe yourself because the more you do that, the more you get to step into perspective. And this perspectives are are you allowing this energy to bring you into an energy of orphaned, like we saw earlier this week, feeling left alone, left in the dark, abandoned, the world is crumbling. And I don't mean this lightheartedly. I, I mean this as the internal question of self. Or are you choosing to take what you're seeing, hearing, feeling, all of that, and finding peace, finding ways to act in a peaceful way, finding ways to recalibrate your energy to help others hold an energy of peace and ascension right now. Perspective is everything. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to sustain peace 100% of the time. It is very natural in the human life journey to ebb and flow like so. That is very natural, but what what is most valuable is when you take a moment to observe, step back, and then choose what are you going to do about it. This is what the universe has been teaching us over and over with these building block experiences we've been having. Are we choosing to build on darkness? Or are we choosing to build on light? Are we choosing to build in an energy of peace and purpose or negativity? And again, I say this very cautiously because I understand there is a lot of intensity in the world right now. There is a ton of intensity in the world right now. And it can easily pull us down a really dark rabbit hole of fear, anger, frustration, confusion, um, dismay. But we can also focus on things that are of the light to hold that frequency up. And so again, try not to jump to conclusions about what has transpired. If there is a bit of lack of clarity, use your power of observation right now. Observe your external world and observe your internal world and as well your internal chatter. What is the narrative? And an example of that is, I noticed years ago, I would have an easier time falling into a narrative of like, this is not fair, poor me. 
over time, I started to change my perspective of that. And now it's at the point where I can hear myself being like, this isn't fair, poor me. And right away, I can also hear myself answering like, is it really poor you though? What do you want to do about it? Yes, this happened, but what do you, what do you want to do about it? You don't like it. So what are you going to change? You have to do an action of something. So instead of just sitting there complaining about it, what do you want to do about it? And oftentimes that leads me to kind of laughing at myself and not in a way of mocking myself, but a lighthearted of like, yeah, that's true. All right, so I fell on my face. What am I gonna do about it? I'm gonna get back up and I'm gonna reassess my path and I'm gonna choose a different path so I don't hit the same route and fall on my face again, right? And I know that's easier said than done, but that's the principle of what Spirit is talking about. Your observation and your choices dictate the way that a lot of these changes that have come in shift for the collective. One more card, they say. All right. Now this is energy specific for tomorrow is what they're saying. This card is for the actual eclipse tomorrow. Specific to tomorrow. They're saying, ask and ye shall receive. No way. <laughs> oh my gosh. I literally, you saw, I'm flipping this. Ask and ye shall receive, exchanging gifts. This is the energy for tomorrow. I love this. It makes me smile so big. Upon observing everything tonight, the, the night before, the day before, the eclipse energy. Once you do that, ask for what you want in clarity. Having observed everything that's been happening from this perspective now of gathering all the information, ask for what you want. And maybe it's just, uh, you know what, Spirit, I love what's been happening. Thank you, keep it coming. Or, you know what, it's a little too much. Can we pull back a little bit? Or, you know what, we've totally missed the boat, but I realize maybe where I fumbled, can we try again? Whatever it might be, ask. The emphasis is ask. And you can make it like a ritual. You can make it a ceremony. You can simply talk to the stars this evening. You can do it however you want. Write a letter. Go for a walk in nature and speak out loud or speak in your mind. It doesn't matter. They're going to hear you. But take the opportunity to ask. I love that. That fills my heart so much. I love the divine timing of that. It never... It never ceases to amaze me when those synchronistic things happen. The messages match the cards almost exactly as I'm flipping them. I love it. I love it. So I will leave that with all of you for today. Happy Friday, everyone. Happy eclipse. Congratulations on making it through the whole eclipse season. And um, this is going to be an exciting weekend. So follow your intuition. Follow your alignment. If you need to rest, rest. If you need to be active, be active. Really allow the beautiful nature of yourself to guide you through the energy. Another little heads up is I will be away for the next week. I will still be doing card readings, but I'm going to set them up before I go. So I'm going to tune in um, with my guides to the energy of all of next week for what you need to know. So there will still be the daily card readings, um, but I will be doing them beforehand. So that being said, have a beautiful weekend. Happy Eclipse, everyone. And uh, we'll see you on Monday. See you later.